Yeah, today we have a uh, Abu Garcia Ambassador 6500CL. Uh, the drag just feels a little light on it. This is all the way locked down and it's pretty loose. And I think it's just probably a lot of buildup of, um, of just oil and grease inside here. That's all. But we're going to open it up and check it out and see how it looks. And I'm going to show you a couple of tips on how to separate this reel. But not the entire thing. Just doing pretty much a basic service on this. First, thing we're going to start with undoing this uh, cover here by undoing that screw and this nut. That's counterclockwise to remove that. When you take this off, what you're going to notice is there's an e-clip e under here that we have to pop off. So I'll just take a small flathead screwdriver, keep my finger around there, and just kind of twist it off, like so. Now you can pull that up. You have a washer under there. It sits facing down, but is it super important how you position it? Um, probably not. All right, so now you can back this off just like so. Do it upright so there's nothing else under there that, that comes off because there's a couple pieces under there still. Nothing there, but then you have some pieces inside there. I'm going to remove this now before I undo these screws here. And that's partly because there's something under here I want you to see. Like so. You have a couple caps or a couple plates inside there. We're going to leave those alone. Then you have this black rubber piece. It kind of pops off, but you got to be careful with it that you don't break it. And it'll sit facing down. So if you can see that, you'll see there's a couple of prongs facing down that way. That's how it'll be sitting. Now I'm going to undo these two screws. I'm sorry, three screws here. And I'm also going to loosen these screws as well. Now you can use your thumb or fingers to just remove them. That should pull straight up. Leave that alone for a second. I'm going to undo these screws here. They're both the same size to push down as I lift up. Everything came out nice. There's two uh, tension washers here. They face each other kind of looking like a flying saucer. So the way they look is kind of like like that. And there's an inner race that came off here versus inside there. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit too. Uh, the way it sits is there's a thicker end piece and in theory you kind of want this looking like this whatever position to get it to go all the way down so that thicker piece will be facing the bottom I'm just checking this anti reverse out to see how bad it looks it's not that terrible but we're going to clean that stuff up all right, so where my issue I think is, is gonna be in here. But I show you how to break this stuff down as well. To get this disassembled, all you're simply doing is pulling this up. Something you might have to rock on it. Don't force it, just kind of take your time and work at it. Just pushing that up just like that. It's all one piece. Now you can take this, lift that straight up and these pieces come off kind of like so now you can take this kind of want to pop that out I'm gonna leave it in there and just clean it the way it is versus uh, kind of messing with that because I hate plastic pieces or I'm sorry I dislike plastic pieces but here's what I want to look at under here there's a washer 
There we go. This is the drag stack that I want to look at. That's the bottom piece. Push this up. You'll have a washer under here. And I can see already there's a lot of just like a lot of oil deposits there. We want some stuff there, but we don't want too much. Because when that happens, uh, it just causes it to kind of slide more than stick. If that makes any sense. Enough of the drag stack. It'll look kind of like this. You have the gear, the washer, metal washer, another aired, and then that. And this plate sits with the concave part facing uh, down. So the nub or top, the bump will be facing up. But as I can see here, what I see is just a lot of a lot of grease. I don't think they need to be changed out. Just a lot of grease in them. That's it. And by simply just drying these things off, uh, having a lighter coat on there will do wonders for the drag tension in this reel. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of clean this stuff up, come back to you, and then show you how to put these things back together. Keep that intact, and then show you how to what I'm going to do on this side, which is not a whole lot. And then we'll put everything together and just test it out and see if it works any better. Okay, so first things first, I checked this... Uh, the enter reverse clutch and there was a little bit of wear on there so clean that out I'm gonna add a couple drops of oil to it this is really like two or three drops of oil it's not a lot in there and now I'm gonna put the these pieces back together a little bit of grease not a lot on there a little bit on the back side so that spool shaft doesn't get locked up in there. We're just going to drop this in after we put a couple of pieces in. First will be this piece. Slight amount of grease around it. Going to drop that on like this. Next will be this piece. Same kind of deal, just a little bit of grease around it. Just sits over that ring right there, just like that. Then finally this piece here. And that's gonna sit looking just like that right there. I'm gonna push that up slightly, kinda have that in that position around there somewhere. Now we can stick this piece on, and that's gonna sit looking like that with that squared or notched end facing down. And I want that up there so that I can push this all the way down and have it looking flush against the plate like that. Now we can take this piece and just knock it on there. I'm gonna add a little bit of grease around these things, just like that. This is going to go straight down looking like this. Also, I'm starting with that inner hole, not the outer hole for this side. Kind of want to play this a little bit just so it sits flush and this doesn't get in the way. And that looks good. All right, so for the main gear, put that little washer on first. I'm going to add a little bit of grease on this gear. Really not a whole lot. Don't want to get any inside there. Next we're going to do this piece here. A little bit on the inside. And that's about all we're going to do there. Drop that on. Now we can stick our smaller washer on there. And at this point, I'm going to add a light amount of dry grease to right there. And a 
little bit more to these. We're not doing a whole lot, but we want to have a little bit of lubrication on it. So now we can stick this gear on. Make sure you kind of play with this to get that gear down without damaging that pinion gear. First drag washer goes in, your keyed metal washer, second drag washer, then your aired metal washer. That sits in those two little holes right there. Final piece, and remember this notched end or raised end will be facing up towards the handle, just like so. And I'm gonna stick this piece on. That's it for that, and now we're gonna work on this side. I'll show you what I'll do over here, and then get this reel put back together. There's not a whole lot to do on this side. There really isn't. See, there's a lot of grease and stuff going on here, which I don't really like. Definitely gonna clean out that uh, the worm there. Using that to turn it, that gear on the inside. A little bit of dirt there. That looks good. Add a little bit of oil just inside there. Might be too much. Yeah, that was a, that was a little too much. So I put one drop, a couple drops on the worm. That'll work its way in into the pole when it we're uh, engaging the reel. A little bit there. That will kind of wear off over time, but leave a residual thin coat on there. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do for this. I think, yeah. You don't need any grease on these gears. Uh, my tendency is to add just a thin layer, but it's not that it's needed. And I wouldn't add any here, that's for the clicker. So now we're just gonna stick this back in. Let's get our bearing through, I'm sorry, our spool shaft. Add some oil to that bearing right there. Push those two pins in. I'm gonna kind of drop this in place. Make sure that our line isn't caught up in there because that will cause issues. And now that's set. Kind of work that in a little bit. And now we're good on this side. You can add definitely a little bit of grease right there. That would be for it to not get frozen inside the uh, inside this area right here or inside that pinion gear. Now we're gonna take this piece, just kind of fold it over. We're gonna line it up so that those uh, two screws there are over these two pieces. And those three screws are lined up as well. So I'll just be looking kind of like that. When you're putting this together, you want to make sure that uh, tab right there is lined up in that slot. 
just like so. I'm going to screw these together just so I can secure it and then we'll put it on top of the housing. So now I'm just going to line this up. Uh, you can put a little bit of oil inside here to reduce the amount of noise those uh, two pins make when they're opened up, when you're casting or something. On like that. And now we're just going to screw this together, hand tighten it at first, and then you can snug it down with your flathead screwdriver, just maybe like a quarter turn or something. That feels good. First piece I'm going to take is this plastic piece. We're just going to pop it on there essentially is all we're doing. Here we're going to add a little bit of oil, some there as well. Screw this on. Kind of working all the oil that I put on there in. Make sure it gets in there good. Now we can take our two washers. Again, they're beveled facing each other, so it'll look kind of like a flying saucer. I'm going to add some grease to the threads right here. Now we see the star drag on. Don't cross thread this stuff. Especially like I'm doing right there. If you were to have trouble with that not going down, you could use the handle, you could use a, a, a screwdriver, I'm sorry, a pliers to kind of get under there and kind of secure it while you turn that knob down. Uh, I went down far enough for me, so I'm gonna stick this on there and just kind of turn it some more just to get it down. I'll finish the rest up in a sec. All right, next is this piece that faces down, but like I said, up or down, I don't think it matters that much. And now we can take our handle and stick that on there. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to right there and some inside. Pop that on. Still have a little ways to go, so I'm going to turn that some more. And now we can take our E clip and pop that on there. That looks good. Now I'm going to take our nut, secure that, and then we'll lock this up and then test out that drag, see if it seems any better. You want to make sure that, that star drag is far enough down to where you can turn that knob freely. The easiest way to get this on is to kind of just stick this piece on there. Let me add some grease to it. kind of lay it over there and make sure it's lined up which this one is and I don't think we can go much further so we're gonna back it up a little bit to where it fits over that hole 
and then secure with a screw. Alright, so let's go ahead and try this reel out now and see how it feels. We know that the free screws felt fine, it felt fine or feels fine. I tested that earlier. I want to make sure to click or disengage works well. So under the drag, I'm going to feel it nice and loose. Let's tighten it down and see what we have. Very smooth. Nice. Nice, very nice. So a lot better than it was before and a lot smoother as well, which is good. All right, you guys, so if you found that video useful, please hit that thumbs up button and uh, spread the word about the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.